I'm Francesca Houghton, I'm an Associate Professor in the Faculty of Medicine and I'm Programme Lead for the MRES in Stem Cells Development and Regenerative Medicine. So students are supervised by internationally recognised academic researchers within the Centre for Human Development, Stem Cells and Regeneration. Students undertake two 16-week research projects to develop a broad range of laboratory skills and gain experience of working in different research environments. As well as providing broader training in the intellectual basis of scientific research in stem cells development and regenerative medicine, our MRES will develop students' transferable skills, including time and project management, public speaking, critical appraisal and scientific writing thus aiding employability for a wide variety of careers. My name is Sophie Arthur and I study at MRES and now studying a PhD at the University of Southampton in stem cells. So I work on human embryonic stem cells and I'm looking at how the amount of glucose they consume uh, keeps them as stem cells. So what attracted me to Southampton was what the course contained. Um, I love the taught parts of it and I love the additional research components of it too. So with my research, if I can keep stem cells as stem cells, they can help us treat a variety of diseases or even help with blood donations or even the organ transplant links. Students on our one year MRIS course undertake taught modules in research skills and biomedical sciences, in stem cells development and regenerative medicine and in advanced scientific skills. Hi, I'm David Christensen. Uh, I studied a MRES and PhD um, and I studied human embryonic stem cells, uh, particularly focusing on their metabolism. So although I knew I wanted to study stem cells, uh, I didn't know exactly what kind of research on stem cells I wanted to do. And one of the things that I really liked about the MRES PhD course here that I did was that I could do projects in different lab groups so that I could study very different aspects of stem cell research. Now studying in particular some diseases that cause blindness and using the knowledge that I gained studying embryonic stem cells to use stem cells to treat and understand these diseases that cause blindness. My name is Richard Arepo, I'm Professor of Musculoskeletal Science here at the University of Southampton. An MRES here at our centre will equip you with unique skill sets to allow you to investigate stem cell science developmental biology, which can be harnessed in terms of development of specifiable tissues that can improve the quality of life for our ageing population. What we have are unique facilities here in Southampton at the General Hospital in terms of we have facilities that allow us to translate from the bench through to the clinic. We have access to the new Cancer Immunology Centre, the Wellcome Trust Clinical Research Facility, Biomedical Research Units, all of which allow us to harness basic science right through to the patient. Hi, I am Ines Moreno. I am a PhD student and I did a, a Master in Research of Stem Cells and Regenerative Medicine at the University of Southampton. So in my case, I studied biotechnology as a background and I could have gone to industry in terms of microbiology or plants, but I actually really like regenerative medicine and even if it's a really competitive field, I thought I would do it because I genuinely like it. And my advice for me four years ago would be to do what I really like, to do it again, because that would naturally lead me to the, war, uh, the job I want to have in the future.